I bought these um, crayfish traps. Um, they're pretty good actually. Then it cost um, me, I think it was seven pound fifty off uh, eBay. Um, obviously, the crayfish comes in here, and then you put the bait in this little sack here. I use herring; it seems to attract quite a lot. So the bait's in here, and then there's two entrances. One on this side and one on this side and then um, as you can see they uh, can't find their way out nice and simple way to get the crayfish out is just to uh, unzip here easy access and the, <coughs> the net's not too bad actually if they get damaged they're easily repaired quite good for their money um, obviously I wouldn't recommend to have this string it's, a, it's strong but it just feels a bit of weight when you've got about 30 crayfish in there I bought these probably about four days ago and I've caught probably about 70 crayfish isn't too bad and that's in a hundred yards of water and a river so I bought a couple as you can see <coughs> and here I have just one crayfish so I, I think that I've <coughs> done my bit by cleaning them out so there's not many left now when you do the same pot spot it becomes less and less and you know you've done well so this is the crayfish if I can get them out this is the um, non-native crayfish and it's got a good grip of the net there As you can see they're quite strong, it's holding the whole cage up so I wouldn't want to be um, bitten by uh, little Hercules there. So this is the crayfish um, or claw crab, depends where you are in the world what they call it. They breed very fast, faster than non native uh, crayfish. Um, obviously they're four or five times the size bigger than ours and definitely ugly as you can see underneath his claw it's red um, they eat everything in the river so everything you can imagine I just put them into the sunlight so you can see so as you can see it's quite a I don't know, I wouldn't say ugly, I think. So, you can't tell whether they're female or male, and they're really hard to breed in captivity. They breed like rabbits, as they say, in the, in the wild. They don't know why. Um, the smaller ones, the smaller crayfish tend to be more active in the daytime and uh, the larger ones are more active in the evening um, the larger they are the older they are obviously they can live up to 25 to 30 years old which is quite an old quite old for a little thing um, obviously the more older they are the more wise they get and they become um, less interested in the, the crab traps crayfish traps, seal traps um, so the little ones tend to just jump in the older ones tend to just hang around on the outside you're not allowed to use bamboo and cane and net and a bit of bacon um, we have to follow the rules of the um, environmental health so uh, they give you full instructions what to do and how to do it correctly um, kind of 
defeats the object of not hurting the crayfish and then you cook it to eat it. I don't understand that, but... <clears throat> um, yeah, they're, um, they're very active at night time, more than the daytime. So you can set the traps up. Um, you can set a lot of traps up, I suppose, in one stretch of river without a problem. And you're more likely to catch um, quite a lot at night time. More at night time than the daytime. But if you're clever, you can work out the times when they when they eat. So their prime time, I suppose, will be 11 till 12. Um, they're out and they're active. Um, obviously, seven, five, six, and seven um, before they settle down for the day. Um, the full moon, apparently so. Um, they come out more on the full moon. I think everything changes on the full moon in all of us as well. So uh, I've yet to discover that. So that will be next on my list to do. So I'll grab some more herring and. Um, and I'll, I'll put that one to the test. Uh, I've worked out if you use one spot all the time, you, yes, you will uh, catch quite a lot of crayfish. Um, you basically, the crayfish live in an area, and if you clear that, that nest out, um, there won't be any more. Um, but it won't take long for another crayfish to rediscover the empty houses that they've made, the little grey caves, and, um, and they soon jump in and uh, claim it as their own. So, for every, um, if you use the quarter of a mile stretch for a river, and if you work yourself down every 100 metres as the river's flowing downwards, the scent will come towards the crayfish. So, you can kind of um, use a um, bit of common sense and let the, the smell, let the crayfish travel to the smell. I mean, um, they taste pretty good. They're quite a high demand in a lot of places. Um, obviously, these are our non-native crabs, so they're killing all our fishes and killing all our um, um, crayfish and frogs and all sorts of newts. Um, as you can see, this is a small one. Um, they can get a lot bigger. Um, I've seen them probably three times the size of this. Um, not too sure how old that would be. The claws. If they're small claws, they tend to be a female, as they say. Uh, larger claws, then um, possibly more likely be a male um, in this breed of creature. Um, the eyes on the crayfish, um, a bit like a chameleon, they, they, they can rotate and look different ways. I'm not too sure if they can, what exactly they see, but uh, they do move accordingly um, not too sure what else to say really um, I, I enjoy catching them to be honest and I, try, I enjoy trying to help the environment um, obviously they cause a lot of damage and um, I think if I was to go out and do it and 10 other people was to go out and do it too um, and we all caught a hundred each in one night. We would only just start to make a difference. Um, but you can try all you like, and um, you know it's, it's fun. It's, it's it's good for the environment, and it's nice. It feels good when you've done good, and it's nice to clear out a river with them. But it won't take long for them to um, find their a new home. They do travel quite a lot. Um, obviously, they travel up to one kilometre a night. Uh, depending on conditions uh, in the evening, if it's wet, they can travel faster. Yes, they can breathe outside um, uh, water. They can travel around. Obviously, they're very slow-moving creatures. Obviously, when feared and threatened, then they are very fast, very fast. And they kind of walk forwards as they're generally crawling along. And in fear or danger, then they use their tail end and they'll flip backwards and um, it's, it's quite fast, it's a bit like um, was it, a squid or something when they shoot off backwards. So it's a um, very interesting creature. Um, if you want to have these as a pet you need to have a license obviously. Um, a, one a bit more colourful would be nice to look in, in, a, in a, a tank. This will be a freshwater crab, it wouldn't be a marine obviously because you catch these in fresh water. 
um, obviously we have the um, the Chinese um, mitten crab as well which is in, in fest, in infesting our waters and um, that's a, another issue well I hope you enjoyed the video um, just uh, some common knowledge on crayfish um, he won't be going back but he won't be going to dinner either well we'll see what happens I've got a fridge full of them at home and um, I might just have a nice uh, posh lunch crayfish salad or something alright then well, thanks very much for listening. Take care. Uh, have a good day.